day. Danita and I will also share the experiences we had covering this story in New York and Pennsylvania. A Detroit police officer critically hurt in a hit skip last week is still fighting for his life. Tonight, the man responsible sits behind bars waiting for charges against him. News Channel 5 Shay Harris talked to the officer's wife today. And Shay, how is the family taking all of this? Well, Danita, as you can imagine, this is tough. The family is very happy that Gary Fury is behind bars, but Ginger Belak is from Michigan and she's away from the couple's six girls. And with complications to his recovery, she says she's just thankful for every day that he keeps trying to fight to turn the corner. Ginger Belak is waiting, praying for the recovery of her husband of 12 years. It's been tough. It's been very tough. Um, especially being out of state. Robert Belak is a Pinckney, Michigan police officer. He was on a road trip on his motorcycle when Cleveland police say 54-year-old Gary Fury hit him along I-71 on September 4th. According to Cleveland police, Belak had pulled under this bypass so he could read his road map. That's when they say Fury drove through, struck him, and drove off. Fury is behind bars, arrested Monday for aggravated vehicular assault and hit skip. I'm really, really angry at him because he left my husband for dead. He left him. He didn't bother helping him. Officer Belak isn't out of the woods. He's had serious complications post-surgery. Still, Ginger says she's pushing him to fight. Daily I walk in telling him what day it is. I give him that. Um, I always tell him he's going to be okay. When I'm in his room, I have strength. The minute I walk away from the hospital and not being with him, I'm not strong at all. I, I feel alone. I feel alone. Cleveland police officer Jeff Fulmer says the BLACs are not alone. He's a fellow brother in the police. He's, he's a police officer and he's, uh, you know, it's a brotherhood throughout the state or throughout the country. Even. They're asking the public to help raise money to provide what the family needs. It's unplanned hardship and we're trying to uh, create a little financial security for them so they can concentrate more on him instead of worrying about anything else. Now, if you would like to help with this effort, you can send donations to the Cleveland Police Credit Union at 2301 Payne Avenue here in Cleveland. The zip code is 44114. All checks should be made out to Officer Robert Belak Fund. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.